it's a downtown spot that sees a lot of activity. You're probably familiar with it. Philosopher's Grove Parks. It's right at the end of State Street near Capitol Square. And tonight it's at the center of a discussion over the homeless and pushing crime out of that area. News 3's Dave Delosier takes a closer look. It's pretty good. We have one of the I have very fond memories of the place. Anthony Rainier and his sister Karima recently bought Teddy Wedgers, a popular Madison restaurant. Many other people have very fond memories of the place, and I just really wanted to make sure that people in the future would also be able to have a chance to have memories. They have been excited to share their love for this restaurant with locals and visitors, but are facing problems they did not expect from the homeless. We went ran outside, and this guy had been thrown against the wall, like, pretty hard, and they were like, two other guys still brawling it out and like so we I've seen some major um, fights. The restaurant is adjacent to Philosopher's Grove Park, an area that has become a haven for illegal activity and fights. There are so many problems that surrounding businesses say they are losing customers to intimidation. Because people will come in and say oh, I wanted to come down but I was intimidated or this person just said this to me or I just witnessed this. Many of the same problems were dealt with at Peace Park before its reconstruction. Since then, there were fewer problems in that area. The city of Madison thinks the redesign of Philosopher's Park will have the same effect. Now the spot is Philosopher Grove. And if environmentally people choose to look at it to resolve those issues, hopefully it goes back to a spot where people, anybody, feels like they can go without being intimidated or victims of crime. Oh, thanks, man. Teddy Wedgers is hoping the new layout for the space will bring in more customers and less crime so that they can get back to the original plan for running a business and keeping customers happy. We definitely are like a family place and we definitely want to be part of the community. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. And tonight, the city of Madison is hearing from the public as well as business owners about the issues surrounding the park. And that input will go to the Madison Common Council, who will look at changes for that space.